Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so you know what that means. It is Face Mask Friday, and today's face mask is going to be this one from Formula 10.0.6, um, and this is the Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask with Papaya and Citrus. I know they have like four or five masks in their lines. I picked a couple up at Ulta the other day, and this is the one I'm going to try out for you guys today. So I have already gone in this morning and I exfoliated my face and then cleansed it. Uh, my hands are clean. I just wanted to make just wanted to make sure I'm going in with a clean surface. So I so like I said, I picked this up at Ulta. You can also find these face masks at Target and Walgreens, possibly other places. Those are the three that I know of. I purchased mine for $6.99 at Ulta, and I know at Target, I believe they are the same price. Zoe's decided to join. So there are six or seven different face mask options. Like I said, I have this one to try with you guys today. I also just bought the cucumber one, which I will try for you guys in the weeks to come. And if I like these, I will purchase more and test those for you guys as well. So this mask says, this radiance boosting peel revitalizes tired skin in minutes. Smooth on, sit tight, then peel off to remove dead skin cells, unclog pores, and banish breakouts. Powerful papaya helps to resurface skin while citrus boosts brightness so you can flaunt a mesmerizingly clear, smooth, and radiant complexion. So it sounds like this is just gonna be great for brightening your skin and also clearing it up. It is a peel mask. It is a peel mask, which I think is really cool. The only other peel mask that I have ever tried is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask, I believe it's called. So to use this, it says to apply to cleansed and dried skin, smooth on a thin coat over face and neck, avoiding eye area. Allow mask to dry for 10 to 15 minutes, then peel off starting from the jawline upwards. Finish by rinsing skin thoroughly with warm water and pat dry. It says to use this one to three times per week, so not to use this every single day. That might mean that it's just a little bit harsh on your skin and they want to avoid, you know, breakouts or anything like that or any excessive dryness that this may cause. All right, so I'm just going to put this on my face and we will see how it applies. Something I do like, so this obviously is how it comes packaged. I like that it's not some sort of jar type of packaging where you have to dip your dirty hands into the jar. It's nice that you just kind of can pump it onto your hands and this is what it looks like. I don't know how well. So it's a fairly sticky consistency, which I guess makes sense since it is a peel off mask. Again, I'm using my viewfinder <laughs> to put this on. Oh, it smells really nice. It reminds me kind of of the shampoo I used in second grade. And long story short, I used, I don't remember, it was a L'Oreal one. And it was the first time I ever woke up early to shower before school. Again, this was second grade, and I was just so proud of myself. It was probably the only time I woke up early to shower before school. Uh, but I was so excited about it, and that scent is, like, one of the most vivid scents that I, like, just brings me back to second grade. It's, like, one of my most vivid scent tied to memories, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's really weird, but... So I'm trying to be pretty generous with this. It's really sticky going on. Just so it's easier to peel off. It smells really good. Very citrusy and fruity. Very summery. I'm going to quick look in the mirror behind me to see how evenly this is applied. Alright, so as you can tell, you it's basically just a clear mask. Like, it just makes your face kind of look wet. You can't even really tell, like, where it necessarily is, is in is and isn't you can feel uh again it's very very sticky to go on not the easiest to like spread an even layer i wouldn't say uh so we'll see how easily it peels off i'm gonna let this sit on my face for the next 10 to 20 minutes i'm gonna go fold some laundry and then i will be back with you guys to peel off and see the final results all right you guys it has been 15 to 20 minutes as you can tell it almost looks more wet and watery now on the skin that it's dried down um, my skin definitely does feel 
a lot more tight now that it's dried down um it's a little honestly itchy like right here between my nose um it, my skin feels super smooth and soft obviously because of the mask but it's so thin that i'm like concerned it's not going to peel off but this is what it currently looks like uh, and we will go ahead and start to try and peel it off. It said to start at the jawline and peel upwards. Oh, and actually it's lifting up really easily. Super easy. Like more easy, I swear, than the Glam Glow mask. Of course, I always get some stuck in my eyebrows and hair. Ah! I don't know if I still have any on my nose. Honestly, that was super, super easy to peel off. Um, I am going to quickly go rinse my face with warm water like the directions instructed uh, just to get any excess off of like my eyebrows and any excess that I have on my face. So I will be right back. Well, it looks like somebody wanted to join me. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have rinsed my face with warm water and gotten all the excess remnants of the mask off and this is the final product. Honestly, I feel like my skin, I will insert a picture of before right here. Um, but I do feel like my skin looks like a little bit tighter, like maybe like my pores have shrunk a little bit. And I do feel like it looks brighter. So I think this is a really nice mask, especially if you're not looking to splurge on anything. This is a nice mask to do in the morning. Again, one to three times per week before you put your makeup on. Because I feel like, like it's just going to freshen up your face. Make your makeup lay down really smooth and nice. I feel like it's going to just brighten you up and give you like a great workspace for your makeup. And I think this is honestly a really nice affordable option for everybody. Um, again, this was $6.99. At Target, you can get one milliliter bottle, so smaller bottles for $2.99. So if you're not sure, uh, if you have sensitive skin and you're worried how your skin's going to react and you just want to try it, again, $2.99. That's so cheap. So that is it for today's video. If I have missed any information you're wondering about this mask or anything, please let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button before you go. And thanks so much, you guys, for sticking around to watch this face mask Friday. I will see you next video. Bye.